day of the Beat Man scandal, we had to open since 1998 up in the very proud owner of BeatThePotatoes.com. And I'm here right now to do the Sunday, January the 12th, 2020 NFL Pro Football against the spread pick em show. Just going to tackle one game on today's program, game 305-306, that the Houston Texans, they're going to go on the road to play the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going to even buy a Gansas spread wagering selection in this matchup for about three or four minutes or so from now. But first off, you want to get a beat match full card for Sunday's NFL Pro Football action and Monday's NCAA College Football Championship game action. Two days, $20. Text the word full, F U L L, to 94253. You're going to get a beat match teaser on Sunday in the NFL. You're going to get a beat match teaser on Monday night. In the college football championship game, you're going to get a beat match football game of the week. You're going to get all the beat match NBA basketball plays, college basketball plays, if I have any NHL hockey plays. Two days, $20, Sunday, Monday, text the word FULL, F-U-L-L, to 94253. Now, want to order a beat match phone card for Sunday and Monday over the phone? 20 bucks, no problem. Cap, I got my own personal Toll free number, and I'm literally gonna have the day I die. It's one eight three three Meat Man. That's how you talk directly with me. Las Vegas based professional handicapper Dave Scandaliano. One eight three three Meat Man. Take Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. Want to pay with your debit, your credit card? I send an invoice right to your email box. You never have to give the Meat Man your credit card information. When you put the phone number, you type in nine four two five three. When you put the text message, you put the word full, F-U-L-L, and that's it, Cap. 20 bucks, two days, Sunday, Monday. My full card, text the word full, F-U-L-L, to 94253. All right, a couple of things go fast. Make sure you subscribe to Dave Scandaliano's YouTube channel. That way you never miss any of the Meat Man's YouTube videos, make sure you subscribe to Dave Scandal Adams' YouTube channel. Now, you don't want to subscribe to Dave Scandal Adams' YouTube channel? Hey, you cap. You like watching the Meat Man's YouTube videos? Hey, you brother. Just go to the homepage of my website, meatandpotatoes.com. That is the internet home of Dave the Meat Man Scandal Adams. P-O-T-A-T-O-E-S dot C-O-M meat and potatoes dot com. Right. Sunday afternoon NFL AFC divisional playoff pro football. You got the Houston Texans. They're going to go on the road to play the Kansas City Chiefs. The last game at Chris Bookmaker, where the line originates, it opened the Kansas City Chiefs a seven and a half point home favorite. Kansas City Chiefs minus seven and a half points at home against the Houston Texans. It's up to nine and a half. It's up to nine and a half. Kansas City the Chiefs, a nine and a half point home favorite on Sunday at Chris Bookmaker. Where the line originates, a lot of places have 10 out there. A lot of places already have it up to 10. Chris Bookmaker, where the line originates, they got it at 9.5. I'm going to go ahead and take that 9.5. I'm going to go ahead and take that 9.5. I'm going to buy that point. I'm going to knock it up to 10. And I'm going to lay a dollar 20. Remember, when you buy it at half a point, instead of betting 11 to win 10, 55 to win 50, or in a meat man's case, 110 to win 100, you got to bet 12 to win 10, 60 to win 50. Or in my case, 120 to win 100. I'm going to go and take the Houston Texans plus a 9 half by that point, 9 to 10, minus a dollar 20. I don't get it. I ain't going to lie to everybody. Meat Man's been gambling a long time. Meat Man's 50 years old. And when I was an itty bitty little boy, Cap, when I was an itty bitty little boy, I started gambling. And man, I was really bad at it. <laughs> I was really bad at it. And the next thing you knew, I was at Gamblers Anonymous in the state of Louisiana. They had one meeting in the whole state. In the whole state of Louisiana, they had one meeting a week. And in Mississippi, 
right next door where they got all the casinos and all the sports book action and all that. They don't have any, any meetings. One meeting a week in the entire state of Louisiana. No meetings. Zero. None. In the state of Mississippi. I'd be willing to bet you they got 500 meetings a week between Louisiana and Mississippi. Going on right now. That's how long the meeting, I was gambling before people even knew what gambling was, man. <laughs> Believe me, I was gambling before people even knew what gambling was. That's how long I've been gambling for. And I don't get it. I don't get this point spread. These two teams met back in October and the, and the Kansas City Chiefs were a three and a half point home favorite against the Houston Texans. And the Houston Texans went there and won a game outright. They went there and won a game outright. They won a game outright. They won a game outright. 31 to 24. Now all of a sudden, two months later, same two teams are meeting in some kind of way the points spread went from three and a half to nine and a half. Went up six points. Why? Why? I've been look, I got off of church a long time ago. I go to church on Saturday. 4.30 Pacific time. I'm a minister of hospitality. Yeah, right, an usher, right. Yeah, I know. I, I, a little snazzy name. They give you a snazzy name. They give you that snazzy name, a minister of hospitality. Yeah, I'm an usher. You know what I'm talking about, Cap? I'm an usher. I've been thinking about this for hours. Drinking beer. Ah! Smoking the... the the vape pan and all that cap. I've been sitting here for hours trying to figure out what am I missing? What is the meat man missing here? Why did the point spread go from three and a half up to nine and a half? Well, the Houston Texans already beat the Kansas City Chiefs early this year. I can't figure it out. So maybe I'm a sucker. Maybe the meat man's going to be the sucker. You don't always call everybody a sucker. I call everybody a square. You're a square. Ah, maybe I'm the square. Maybe the... Maybe the meat man's a square. Maybe, maybe I'm the square. Maybe the, maybe the meat man's a square. Maybe I'm the square, Cap. Ah, maybe, maybe I'm the square, but I'm going to play. I'm going to buy, I'm, I'm going into it, Cap. Now look, Andy Reid, I like Andy Reid. If most people like Andy Reid, how much money would you have? You know, Andy Reid's been around a long time. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of young people. Watch the Meat Man's YouTube videos and all that. But, you know, you got a lot of veterans out there like myself. A lot of veterans out there talking to a lot of people on the phone. Andy Reid has been around for a long, long, long time. He used to be the head football coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. He was there forever. How much money? If you took $1,000 and you put it on Andy Reid every time he was in an NFL playoff game, how much money would you have, Cap? <laughs> Yeah, not much. <laughs> no, not, no, not much. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> you wouldn't have much. He was a money burner. He was a money burner, kind of like Jim Mora. I'm born and raised in New Orleans. Jim Mora did the impossible. He finally got the New Orleans Saints in the playoffs, something that no coach had ever done in the history of the franchise. Jim Mora came in there. And we said, no more excuses. We're going to playoffs. And Jim Moore took the New Orleans Saints to the playoffs with the Dome Patrol and Bobby A. Bear and the Cajun Cannon and Steve Walsh, this, that, the great Dane, Morton Anderson, and this, that, ah. And he went, oh, and four <laughs> playoff games. Could have won that playoff game. Jim Haslett finally won the playoff game for the New Orleans Saints is the head coach. Moore, of course, went on to lose four more with the Indianapolis Colts. He was 0-8. He was 0-8. 0-4 with the Saints, 0-4 with the Colts. What I'm getting at, some of these guys just don't get the job done. <laughs> Bottom line. When they come to the playoffs, remember Marty Schottenheimer? Remember Marty Schottenheimer? Marty Schottenheimer every year, 12-4, and 13-3, and 14-2. And you would just save all your money all year long. All year long, you would save your money, put it in a little piggy bank, you'd hide it under the mattress, do everything you could, because you know what's Marty Schottenheimer got to the playoffs? I just unload. Betting against him. 
Some of these coaches are just like that. Andy Reid's in that category. I'm not laying up 10 points. With Andy Reid, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not laying 10 points. With Andy Reid, you know what I'm talking about? Hold on. Look, I, once again, this could be the sucker better than you, Cap. The meat man, all kidding aside. I haven't fell under the trap in a long time. In a long time. The meat man hasn't fallen under the trap in a long time. I ain't gonna lie to everybody. I, it's been five, ten years since the meat man fell under the trap. But maybe I'm falling in on it. Kansas City was just a three and a half point favorite at home two months ago. Now all of a sudden they're nine and a half against the same team that they lost to. I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, the last two losses for the, for the Kansas City Chiefs, yeah, it was in that AFC South. Tennessee Titans, they beat the Kansas City Chiefs. And, of course, the Houston Texans beat the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs, their last 11 games, been 9-2. and two. Both losses were the teams in the AFC South. Tennessee Titans and the Houston Texans. Now, J.J. Watt is back. Now, this is a huge bonus for Houston, Texas. I don't get it. I ain't going to lie to everybody. I don't, I don't get it. I know a lot of people say, well, meet man, you know, Kansas City got a guy back. And I, yeah, I know. Well, what would they get back? Superman? I mean, come on, man. I mean, come on. Anybody in Kansas City, anybody the Chiefs got back should be offset by J.J. Watt coming back for the Houston, Texas. At least that's my opinion. I mean, I, you know what I'm talking about? I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I ain't gonna lie about it. I've been doing this a long time. I've been doing this a long time. And the meat man's a straight shooter. Remember, all of my records, for all of my YouTube videos are listed below. Remember that? We lost the first two in 2020. Then we won five in a row. Now we've lost three out of four. I live in a real world, Cap. Everything's listed below. I live in the real world. I can't figure it out to save my life here. I cannot figure out what I'm missing here. Now, of course, I also like the Houston, Texas, because the meat man is the inventor and the founder of a one, two, 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 ah, system. The first game of the season, the Houston, Texas lost on a road in a Superdome to the Orleans Saints. Then they won the next two. Then they lost the next one. Then they won the next two. Then they lost the next one. Then they won the next two. Then they lost the next one. Then they won the next two. And they lost the next one. And they won the next two. And they lost the next one. And they won the first one last week against the Buffalo Bills. According to the system, this is the second one. They're supposed to win. This was number two. This was number two. Ah, I'm going to take my chances here. Look, if I lose this game, I lose it. I, you know, once again, once again, Chiefs beat the Houston Texans. They just pound them into the ground. I'll just say, you know what? I should have saw it. I should have saw it. When they played before, the line was three and a half. Now it's nine and a half. Ah, I should have caught on to that. I've been doing this a long time. Ah, e, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Hopefully that don't happen. <laughs> Put the meat band down on Sunday. I'm going to take the Houston Texans. They get nine and a half at Chris Bookmaker. Where the line originates, I'm by that point. I'm going to knock it up to ten. I'm going to lay a dollar twenty. And that is the current line of Chris Bookmaker. Where the line originates. Talk right, now. How about another pick for the meat man? This one says straight to your text message inbox on your phone. I did not text out a play on Saturday. I am going to text out a play on Sunday. It's a complimentary service offered us to everybody that watches my YouTube videos. You gotta opt in. The way you do it, you text the word meat man. My nickname, M E A T M A N, to 94253. Where you put the phone number, you type in 94253. Where you put the text message, you put the word meat man. My nickname, M E A T M A N. And that's it, Cap. Now, how you know you did it right? You're gonna get a reply welcoming text. And on that reply, welcome text, it's going to be a 702 phone number. You're going to get a phone call from that exact same 702 phone number. That's my man, Rich. Rich is going to call and confirm you're 21 years old. Rich is going to call and confirm it was you that opted in to meet man's free prefix text message list. And yeah, Rich might try to say that two-day, $20 full-card package, Sunday, Monday, you're not obligated to buy nothing for the meat man. 
Answer the phone, be nice to Rich, confirm it with you to opt it in, confirm you're 21 years old, listen to sales pitch, and away you go. You want to see a picture of Rich? Just go to the homepage of my website, meetapotatoes.com. Rich is one of the handicappers up there. You only got to opt in on a meat man's free pre-pitch text message list one time, and you're on for life. You can opt out at any time, and you'll never get another text message from a meat man ever again. It's a complimentary service. I'll offer this to everybody that watches my YouTube videos, but you got to opt in. And the way you do it, text the word meat man, money, M-E-A-T-M-A-N, to 94253.